everybody. Uh, we're back in the 5125R John Deere tractor here doing another demonstration video on another feature that this tractor has as an option and that is the iTech or Intelligent Total Equipment Control Package which can be added as an option on this tractor. I think it's about $500 to have it added. What iTech does is it takes several tractor functions and allows you to program those functions in one button click so that let's say for instance if you're if you're, if you're running a let's say a power harrow or a, or some type of implement and you're coming to the headland and you need to make your turn and you want to lift your hitch up shut your four wheel drive off shut your PT off all at one time you can program it so that the tractor does all those functions automatically for you rather than having to push your hand and do you know three or different four different functions at once so I'm going to show you how to set this up so basically you come to your primary display unit here and we're going to select the iTech option and under the iTech we'll select setup and then you can see there are basically three different things that this tractor can be used to be turned on and off that's your PTO on your rear your mechanical four-wheel drive and your differential lock and these hitch positions are your triggers so your upper position indicated here would be when you want to turn these things off and your lower position is when you want them to turn on so right now I have it set so that when the hitch is up to about 60 percent of its lift height the PTO will turn off when it gets down to 43%, it'll turn back on. So I'm, I'm basically demonstrating what it would be like if I was running, say, a power harrow or a power tiller uh, with this tractor, and I was trying to, you know, uh, cultivate a field or something like that. So what I have it set now, I have it set for my PTO to be activated in the rear at these two and deactivated at these two positions. What I can do now, I can actually get this tractor moving, and I'm, I'm going to make sure that my hitch. The first time that we do this. You have to do this manually, so you're going to put your hitch down where you want it, have your turn your PTO on, and once those positions are met, and those conditions, or excuse me, those conditions are met, and you have iTech running, iTech will take over the rest of it, and basically, all we're going to do is our, use our quick up, quick down buttons to activate and deactivate um, the iTech options that we have selected, and it will also lift and lower the hitch or the implement at the same time. Now, granted, I don't have a power hero on here, I'm just, I have a bell spear on here, but just as a demonstration purpose, I just wanted to show you how this works, so... What we're going to do, we're going to head and get this tractor rolling. And I'm going to turn iTech on by clicking this button. And we'll know iTech is on. It's this top here. If you look at the primary display, and you'll see the iTech icon is active. And I'm just going to basically move this tractor around a little bit. I'm going to get my hitch position in the lower position by using the quick up, quick down button. I'm going to turn my PTO on. And now we'll see that the PTO icon is running. PTO is running. If you look at your lower part of the uh, run page, you'll see that the PTO is running. My hitch is at the lower position. So I'm just going to drive down the road, drive through this field here as if I were power tilling or running a power harrow. And let's say I'm you know, coming around a little bit here. And we're going to come back. And as I get close to this equipment up here, I'm going to pretend like that's the headland. I'm going to hit my pick up, pick down button over here. I click that real quick and I want you to watch what the screen does. Okay, when the hitch got up to about 60% or so, you can see that the, on the lower part of your end page, your PTO is off right now. So I'd make my turn at the headland and I'd get myself straightened out again, hit my quick down button on the hitch. When that hitch gets to about 43% or so, you'll notice that the PTO icon comes back on, my PTO reactivates, and I can continue plowing. So that iTech allows you to program that function. Like I said, you can also program your differential lock and your four-wheel drive to turn on and off uh, with that same quick up, quick down button on your three-point hitch. But it's pretty handy if you're doing some kind of work where you need to turn that stuff on and off rapidly, like I said, at, the, at a headland where you're making your turn. And then when you re-engage in the field and you begin moving straight again, as you lower your hitch and, and re-enter the field, those options will turn back on for you. So, Yet another really nice feature here on this 5R series tractor that's uh, nice if you're doing row crop, crop work or any kind of work where you'd like to program multiple functions into one step. So I, like I said, I was requested by a YouTube user to do that demonstration video. just wanted to bring that to you real quick and show you how that works. Hope that was helpful. And like I said, as always, if you have any questions or need any clarification on this video, just go ahead and post a comment in the section below. Hope you enjoyed the video and have a great day.